So a lot of times I get questions about these import machines. You know, how good are they? Are, are they built okay? Are they put together correctly? You know, is it just a bunch of parts just kind of thrown in a box? Let's take a peek inside this one. Now this is the Everlast PowerTig 250EX. And I talked to the owner of the company and he said, yeah, sure, open it up. Show people what it looks like inside. Why not? So you see right here, here's your power cable. This is your 220 line coming in. So inside the machine, and you notice right off the bat, everything is spot tied. All the wires are spot tied together, but this power line, this black you know, cable runs up, pokes up inside there. And of course, here's the on off switch. So here's the top of this circuit breaker style on off switch. So these are the power lines coming out after you turn the switch on. And again, everything is, you know, looks like it's some kind of silicon. All the connections are glued together, so they won't loosen up under vibration. One of the nice little features on this machine right here, this is the 220 line that takes power off of your incoming line. And this provides the outgoing power that goes to the water cooler. No, not for you. It's for the TIG torch. It's a water-cooled torch to help keep it cool so you can weld longer with it. And if we look down in here, okay, here are the high frequency points. This is what makes the TIG torch actually light off and run. This is where the contacts are, you know, the air gap is. So that's something you're going to want to know where it is and you're going to want to know how to adjust it, clean it on occasion. And where is the high frequency board with those high frequency points? Well, here's the front of the machine, here's the control panel, and here's the high frequency board right here. One of the cool things about this machine is it's an analog digital machine. This is the control board that's hooked to the control panel that's on the front of the machine. The only analog thing on this machine are the little knobs. The little, these are the little rheostats that when you turn the knob on the front of the machine, they move against their little wiper inside. Everything else in here is all digital. You know, zero, almost no moving parts whatsoever other than those little knobs. And what does that mean to you? There's almost nothing to wear out. So I've been inside a few of these different machines. You know, the Everlast and the AHPs. I've even had to cover off my, my uh, Miller welders a few times. What do I find? Everything appears to be very, very solid, very, very well put together. Nice heavy metal, big heat sinks, all the connections are all glued together. So I hope that answers your questions about these you know, Chinese machines. Good solid machines. I want to thank Everlast for allowing me to play with this one and allowing me to take the cover off and show you guys what goes down on down inside here. I'm going to put this puppy back together and get it back on its cart where it belongs. I'm going to go back to work. You guys are going to reach right over there and hit that subscribe button for me. And don't forget to pop out to my website, sign up for my newsletter. I'll see you next time. Oh my God, scary things in life. Taxes, uh, death, mom's meatloaf. No. <laughs>